So a few weeks ago, in listening to the radio, I heard that younger people, and by this, I, cause I'm, I turned 46 in June, so most everyone's younger than me, uh, Gen Z and millennials don't want to participate in the census, claiming that they don't want the government to know about them. Now, one, the government already knows all that we would not want them to know. My real concern on this is a few. You touched on them, Ms. Favors, before. One of them is also, and this is where I ask you as an attorney because I don't know, do the census results have to have anything to do with the Electoral College and its existence? Mm. I got to think it does, and that's why I asked the question because, yo, that is, you know, the dragon we must slay. So in addition to getting access to resources through the census, that also determines how many representatives you have in Congress. And so when we're talking about electoral college votes, there is a direct connection between the two. And so for people who are talking about, I don't want to fill out the census because I'm scared of the government, I would be willing to bet they have social media platforms. I would be willing to bet that they have cell phones. And when they get on a plane in New York and then they get off the plane in Virginia, the, the weather is going to update. If they get off the plane in California, the time is going to update. So if the man was trying to get you, the man got you. <laughs> <laughs> like If that was what they were going to do. Census data is absolutely confidential. It does not get released on pain of a quarter of a million dollar fine and five-year prison term for any Census Bureau employee who were to release individualized data. Um, and then 72 years after... After the release of the census, that's when information is made public. So a lot of us who are into genealogy, years. yeah. So mm. yeah. So a lot of us who are into genealogy, when we want to go back and see where our great grandparents were, we can go back to those census, and then we will be able to find information about them specifically. But if if you worried about the government finding you, and you think that hiding and not filling out the census is going to be the way to stay hidden, that is that is not going to happen. If the government is looking for you, they don't need the census for that. They don't use the census for that. Um, they got your cell phone. They got the Social connection to the electoral college the representation that you the number of, of the number of representatives you have in congress is tied to the number of electoral votes your state gets so at the end of the the competition for who's president you have to get what is it 270 i can't remember the exact yeah. number 270, 270 electoral yes. college votes in order to be named president regardless of what the popular vote happened so in 2016 hillary clinton got more people voting Three million for her more. Yes. yes but the electoral college votes went to trump so if you don't have enough electoral electoral college votes because you and quite frankly the state of New York is predicted to lose another two representatives in the house so if we are not serious about this there are long term implications that people are not even thinking about and again I say we have got to be far more sophisticated about understanding how these systems work so that we can manipulate them in a way that's going to benefit our communities that's so good. there's a P so this is our PSA today okay brothers sisters family everyone you know the census comes next month do it. Yes. And if you don't want the government knocking at your door. Stop being on Facebook. No. <laughs> no that's joke. not what I was going to say. I know. You have three opportunities to fill out the census before the enumerators come. The enumerators are the government employees who come out because their job is to find everybody. And so if you have not filled out the census either by going online, either by picking up the phone and calling it in, or by mailing in a paper form, your address is going to go on a list that says, hey, we need census data from this address. We have to send out enumerators. If you live in a community that is concerned about immigration and you don't want strangers knocking at your door you're worried about ice you know because we are and quite frankly we are very concerned about ice impersonating census folk because we saw the lawsuits too. listen they're like the american gestapo like right we just got to be clear they are shooting people in the face i don't know if you saw what I happened saw to the brother that, in brooklyn that um that so, was in brooklyn i was in brooklyn so we just have to be clear that if you you know that if you've already filled out the census and someone knocks at your door and says i'm from the census bureau you already know mm, i'm not opening not. that no mm -mm, because i've already filled out my census so we are encouraging people if you are in communities that are not immigration status secure get that thing in get it done there's no question about citizenship on the census no one's going to ask you for your social security number get it done get it in 10 minutes 10 questions it will determine the next 10 years of your life and thereon after and so if someone knocks on your door after that you, you be know like, mm -mm. you know that's ice mm -mm.